What's up guys, David Cherwack here, and today I'm gonna to be doing another Premiere Pro editing tutorial. And in this one, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to draw or handwrite your own titles. So for this, you're gonna need a couple of things, and the first thing that you're gonna need is some sort of black marker, um, preferably black, so if you have that, uh, definitely use that. It can be a different color, but black is the easiest to do. And what you're gonna need next is a whiteboard. So I just have a small little whiteboard and it doesn't have to be anything crazy or like a huge whiteboard. It's just a small kind of one like this. So if you have a whiteboard, definitely make sure to use that. So we're gonna use the black mark of the whiteboard and this is what you're gonna use to draw your titles. Last thing you should have here, you don't necessarily need it, but um, it will definitely help, is good lighting. So you really wanna make sure that you have nice white light. And what I mean by white light is literally light that is colored white. Lots of lights in houses are kind of more of a yellow type of light. You can get like studio lights that are white. That's what I have. That's what I use for filming my videos. I have it right over there right now. That's what I'm gonna use. Um, but if you don't have it, it doesn't really matter. It's not gonna be as good, but it's not gonna affect it a whole lot. So having that white light will definitely help, but it's all right if you don't have it. So once you have those three things, you can start doing your titles. Um, there's two ways that I'm gonna go over with doing these titles. You can either do it stop motion, where you actually animate the title and it actually draws, or you can just draw it, take a picture, and just use a still title. So I'm gonna go over the more simple way first, which is just a still title, so it's gonna be one image. What you're gonna do to start is set up your lights if you have some, or if you don't, find a spot where you're filming that has nice, even lighting. And once you have that, you can set down your whiteboard, set up your camera, put your camera right above the whiteboard so it's straight onto the whiteboard so it won't be at an angle. And once you have your camera in that position, you can write out your title. So whatever title you need for your video, write it out in your handwriting. If you have nice handwriting, obviously use that. Um, so write out your title. And then what you're gonna do after that is just take a picture of it. So it's really that simple, take a picture of it, and then the rest of it is done in post. So I'll head over to Premiere Pro right now and I will show you guys how to edit this title so that you can make the background transparent and you can put this title over any video you want. All right, so I'm here in Premiere Pro now and I have the picture that I took of the title that I drew. So first thing I'm gonna do here is, is I'm just gonna drag this clip in, nice and simple like that. And what I'm actually gonna do now is, as you can see, um, there's a little bit of the edge of the whiteboard showing so it's not a big deal if that's there, but just to get rid of that, I'm gonna switch up crop in the effects control tab, drag it over onto the clip here, go into effect controls over here, and I'm just going to crop it to a point where that is gone. So I'm gonna keep doing that, get the right out of there, and there we go. So now we have this title here. I just did vlog number one because I feel like this kind of handwritten title thing is something that you do in a vlog. So this is the title I'm gonna be uh, showing you guys here. Um, as you can see, the lighting was pretty decent. It's got a decently nice white background. Um, but what we're gonna do to get rid of this white background is we're gonna go into the effects tab and search up color key. So search up color key, you're gonna find it under video effects and keying. Drag this effect onto the clip. And once that loads up, you're gonna go into effect controls here, scroll down and find the color key effect. So what you're gonna do now is we need to get rid of this white background here. So what I'm gonna do to do that is I'm gonna select, select the eyedropper tool next to the key color, click that drag your cursor over the color you want to get rid of, which in this case is the white. Um, and we're just gonna left click. And as you can see, it's not gonna do anything yet, but we can see in our key color here that it has selected this grayish slash white color. What we're gonna do from there is we're gonna go to the color tolerance and I'm just gonna bring this up. So as you can see, when I bring this color tolerance up, 
it's going to get rid of that white background. So as you can see, that white background will start to fade. And I will leave it right there for now. We're going to see how that looks. Um, what I'm going to do now just to see how this looks is I'm going to drag this clip up and I'm going to bring this green screen over here. I just downloaded this green screen off of the internet. So I'm going to bring this under my clip. And now I can select the green screen and go to scale, bring the scale up. That's going to make it bigger. As you can see, the lighting was not perfect, so I need to fix this a little bit. So I'm going to click that top clip once again, go into color tolerance, and reduce it just a little bit. So now I'm trying to get it to a point. There we go. So now we have this title right here which is just the black text that I drew in real life. And now we have it as a file over a green screen in Premiere Pro. So what we can do with this green screen type of file is, um, it's really important to have it like this because green screen is really easy to work with within Premiere Pro. So if you wanna use this in future projects, we can just import this image into your project and then what you would do is you would simply search up ultra key in the effects tab, drag the ultra key into onto the image, and then you would get rid of the green background. So essentially it's just your title on a green screen that you can use in all of your projects and you can overlay this title over any video. And I'm actually gonna show an example of that right now. So you can get a screenshot of this green screen title kind of thing. That's what I do at least. You can probably find a different way if you don't know how to do that. I just use the snipping tool and I'm gonna title this vlog one under my thumbnails. So there we go, we got that. All right, I have a clip right here that I'm gonna show how this actually works. So I'm gonna get rid of this green screen for a second and I'm gonna drag this clip under it. So we're gonna drag this under. This is kinda just a random clip that I filmed. It's actually in the outro of one of my other videos, so you'll see that sooner or later. Um, but as you can see here with this clip, you can see that it is overlaid. Um, but one thing we can do here is, what I've been doing with these handwritten titles recently, is you can go into the effects tab right here and search up invert. So under the video effects, you wanna get the invert, not the audio effects invert. So you're gonna drag this invert over your title. And as you can see, it's gonna make it white. So that's really nice, it really stands out in the video. I can make this bigger if I want to, like that. So it looks pretty nice, it's a nice handwritten title. It just adds a lot of customization to your videos, which is really cool. So you can actually handwrite your titles and make them look like what you want them to look like. Um, so that's the first portion of this video, is just this still. So if you want something more than just a still title, a still handwritten title, you're gonna have to do something a little bit more complicated. Either you can do a stop motion animation of you drawing out your title on the whiteboard. What you would do for that is you would draw a segment of a letter, move your hand, take a picture, draw another part of the letter, move your hand, take a picture, and keep doing that until your title is drawn. You would then take all your pictures, move them into an editing program like Premiere Pro. You would set them all to like one or two frames and it would go by like a stop motion animation which is just a bunch of pictures and it would be your title being drawn. So you can either do that, or there's another way that you can do it with a program actually on the computer. So this is really simple. All I'm gonna do is go to this program called Paint. So I'm gonna open this program up and I'm gonna go to Open. And you guys can download this however you want. Um, I'm gonna go and find my title here, which is right here. And I'm gonna open this. And yeah, we're gonna zoom in a little bit here just so I have more room to work with. And as you can see, it is pixelated because it is paint, but that is no big deal. 
doesn't really matter that much. Won't look as nice, of course, but what we're gonna do from here is we're actually gonna create a bunch of what would look like stop motion images so we can create that same drawing effect. What I'm gonna do to do that is I need to copy this color, um, the green screen color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the eyedropper tool here or the color picker and also make sure that your color is selected. I'm gonna drag it over anywhere on this green screen Click that and now I have the green color selected in my colors tab. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to basically pretend as if I'm drawing this backwards. So if you were to think how you would write this in real life, you would go V, L, O, G, number, one. So just think about how you would write the title forwards and then reverse that frame by frame. So what I mean by that is, for this example, with the one here, I would draw over this area of the one. And actually I would probably get rid of all of that. And this would be one frame. And now what you can do, now that you have this frame kinda done, you can go to File, Save As, you need to make sure that you name it something different than the other one because if you don't, it will just overwrite the previous image so I would just do vlog 1 2 save that and there we go I would keep doing this say I'll do the next one here I'll probably get a little bit rid of a little bit more of the one like that and then I would do the same thing save as vlog 1 3 so keep doing that um, until you erase all of your image and then what you can do is you can put that in Premiere Pro and put the clips in order and it will play like you were writing the title out. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna get back into Premiere Pro and show you how to edit that together. All right, so I'm back in Premiere Pro here and I am going to edit all these frames that I have here. I have about 16 frames, so it's gonna be less than a second most likely. Um, but before I do that, I'm gonna go into the edit tab up here because I wanna fix something real quick. And what you can do is you can go into the edit tab, go under preferences, and what you can do after that is you can go into timeline. So click timeline, and what you can do here is you can set the preset for how long you want an image to be. If I'm doing a stop motion animation, I most likely want the image or all the images to be around one or two frames. So what you can do if it's already not set to this, you can go under the still image default duration, set it to one and make sure it's on frames, not seconds, one frame. And from there, you can click OK. Usually you have to close out of Premiere Pro and then open it back up for that to apply to the timeline but hit ok and what that's gonna do is that's that's gonna make it so when I bring my clips in they're automatically gonna be one frame so I don't have to trim every single one down so what I can do is I can drag all these in and I'm just gonna drag all these in and you're gonna see that they're all gonna be about one frame so as I drag these in you can see when I drag them in, they're automatically one frame long, which is exactly what we want. And this is basically gonna be making your animation. So keep dragging these in, make sure you do them in order. And there we go, we have all of them in here now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna affect the scale here so I can bring the scale up to, let's say, 600. Maybe even 800. No, we'll do a thousand. So I'm gonna do the scale for a thousand for each of these, which isn't ideal, but I'm gonna have to because the timeline was set to a different template before, I guess you could say, not template, but size. All right, last one here. Set this to a thousand scale. Now they're all the same size. And if I were to play this, as you can see, it would go through the animation. And it's actually backwards right now, but 
when you export this as a video, if you put it in a different video, you can simply just do play the video in reverse. So this is what it would look like. Imagine that in reverse. And there's your kind of drawing animation. So you can export this as just a normal video. Like I said, you can put it in um, your vlogs, any video you really want, to be honest here. Um, and yeah, you can either have that animation or you just can have a still image like I showed before where I overlaid it over this clip. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I know it was a long one, but there's a decent amount to go over. Like I said, it just adds a lot of customization to your videos. It makes it feel a lot different. Um, you can actually write down your titles. You can make them look a lot cooler with this. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to um, tell me down below. Make sure to leave down below also what editing tutorials you wanna see. I'm thinking about doing a revealing hidden text in the future by like masking and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see that, tell me down below as well. And yeah, that's going to do it for this tutorial. If you guys liked it, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.